Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and today I'm reviewing another new influencer brand that popped up on Instagram a little while ago. So the brand is Motive and this is Aubrey Bromlow's line. Her Instagram is Aubrey B. Honestly don't know too much about her but I have been following her on Instagram for a while. Saw that she was working on this brand, saw that it launched. It just launched in January and I bought all the stuff right away by the way. This is unsponsored. I did buy all of this with my own money. So yeah it's very new. At first I kind of thought this was would be more of an active wear brand, but I'm kind of confused on like where they stand. Most of their stuff is kind of like lifestyle athleisure, like they have like some joggers. They do have some active wear stuff, like a sports bra and like a workout type of zip up jacket, but they also have like joggers and like a bomber jacket. So I feel like it's almost more on like the lifestyle end of the spectrum, but it's only been one launch so far. So I'm not really sure like what the direction will be in the future. And Aubrey who created the line, she also created it with her husband husband, Brad. Anyways, she still has codes with like activewear brands like Buff Bunny, which isn't too weird, I guess. Other people who've started lines like Kate Taylor, who made um, Lazuli, she still has a code with Alphaly. I don't know, in my head, I thought like if you would create your own clothing line, you would like cut ties with other brands so that you could like focus on your own line and like not be promoting others. I don't know. Am I the only one who thinks it's weird for people to still have codes? Comment down below what you think. Anyways, I basically got everything that launched, but I only got things in like the purple color tones. So yeah, definitely more athletic leisure lifestyle. They also have a whole men's line too. I was doing like a little research into their website and I came across their mission statement, which is as a brand, we aim to create functional, versatile, and affordable pieces to help individuals feel confident, comfortable in all aspects of life. I just have this thing about brands who sell like 60 to $70 things that call themselves affordable. In my mind, if I'm going to break down an affordable price range, it's going to be like $30 or less like for leggings and like in the 20 range for tops. And honestly, for some people that's even still expensive. So I really would not be calling a brand with like $65 joggers an affordable brand, which is totally fine. Like there's nothing wrong with that. These are quality pieces. I think that's a fair price. I just think it's a stretch to call that affordable. So yeah, the prices are definitely up there with kind of like Alpha Elite Buff Bunny balance. So I would definitely call this mid to high price range personally, which again, personally, totally fine with those prices if it's going to be really high quality stuff. So let's get into the review and see how this stuff is. So first of all, I know this isn't super important, and not everyone might care, but I love their branding. They kind of have this little like hexagon theme that's like all over their packaging and like in some of the details on their clothing as well. And I'll show more close ups of that when we get to the items, but I just kind of like their overall theme. I think they did a good job with that. Also, this is literally the first time I've opened any of these. So this is very much first impressions. I literally got this package like three weeks ago and I'm just now opening it. Comment down below if you're the type of person to open up your package immediately when you get it, or if you're like me and you just kind of get a package and then like sit on it for weeks and don't open it until the very last minute because that that would be me. Okay, so first impressions, I thought the joggers were going to be more of a sleek kind of performance material, but they're actually a nice like brushed material. So they're actually softer than I expected. So looking good so far. Again, here's more of their logoing with the little hexagon print. This is like a little like silicone tag thing, kind of unnecessary. I wonder if these things are like expensive, but it does make it seem like more luxurious when you open it. All the tags are attached with little safety pins, which is my personal favorite way for brands to attach tags. I hate when I have to like cut them and then I like worry about like ripping the fabric. So I love to see the little safety pins. We are truly getting into all of the little details that probably no one cares about, but I know there's someone out there who does care, so. I got smalls in basically everything. Okay, this is a giant tag, but this is one of those rip off tags, but hey pins. Pinto has been meowing in the background of this entire video because he wants me to play with him. Oh yeah, don't you want me to play? Don't you want me to play? Okay, okay, goodbye. If I had to compare this fabric to something just right off the bat, I would say maybe like a denser Buff Bunny Nubri fabric. Definitely has that brushness to it. Feels stretchy, but it's just like definitely a thicker material, which I do like to see a thicker material in joggers. Got smalls in basically everything. I didn't really watch many reviews for these. Oh, see what I'm talking about with their like attention to detail with like all their logoing. Even their aglets are like hexagonal. So like at the end, like the cross section is like a little hexagon like their logo. I like that. I also like how the drawstrings just kind of like 
pop out of the like waistband. This is something that I noticed when a lot of people were like trying these on. I just think it's like a very seamless look. Gold foil logo back here, just kind of some details. And they are zip pockets. I also love zip pockets. Oh, okay. And I promise after this, I'm gonna cut it out with the hexagons, but even their zippers are a little hexagon. Okay, there's not much more I can say without trying these on. So let's try them on. All right, so here are the joggers. I think the size small fits me really well. I don't really have any unexpected excess space. Um, little more space than a legging as you would expect, but I think the small is nice and snug on the waist. I did tie the drawstring, but even without tying the drawstring, the waistband still fits me right at my belly button. I also really like where these joggers hit at my waist. They hit right at my belly button and they don't like dip down at all. A lot of joggers I feel like aren't the most high-waisted in like the front specifically. They kind of like maybe dip down a little bit. So I like how these are kind of uniformly nice and high. I think you could wear these to the gym for joggers or like lounge. I think you could really do anything. They definitely are a brushed kind of legging material. If I had to compare these joggers to a pair of joggers I have, I think I would compare these to the um, Buff Bunny Wanderlust joggers because they're both made out of a leggy material. Both have a nice snug high waist, pretty stretchy and can be worn to the gym. They're a little short on me. I'd like if they were a little bit longer. I do like the zip pockets. They're not the deepest pockets in the world. They are made of kind of a brushed leggy material, but I honestly wouldn't expect them to pill that much. They're not like super fuzzy and I don't see the beginnings of any pilling. Kind of have that little curved seam in the back. They fit my glutes pretty well. I think you could size up up if you wanted a little more space. Personally, I just go with your normal size so that it's snug in the waist. If you want like an oversized jogger, this isn't really an oversized jogger. So yeah, it's definitely nice, definitely solid. I do think shape-wise, they remind me a lot of the Depot Gym Step joggers, which are one of my favorite joggers, except these definitely are a little on the thinner side to that. And they also kind of remind me of the shape of the Balance Athletica joggers. Um, just kind of like their OG joggers that are more of a sweatpant material than these ones. But the overall shape with like the little seams in the back just kind of reminds me of them. So I don't think they're crazy unique, but they are solid. Next, I got the Women's Live Bomber. This is $75, so definitely on the higher price range. I got a size medium. I don't know, I like to be able to like fit a layer underneath if I need to, so I got a medium. Okay, and so far, I actually really like the material. I've had a lot of bombers in the past, like from like kind of cheaper places like Forever 21, where they're like really, really shiny. And this is like still kind of a solid, like I would say like waterish resistant material while still being matte. So I think that is nice. Here's a close up of the neck, kind of like a little sweatery type cuff material. They have the hexagon zipper. The side pockets have zippers as well, and it does zip all the way down, of course. How else would you get it on? The inside is made of like a kind of silkier, shiny material. And they have a subtle like, I don't know, honeycomb type print into that too. Little cuffs down here. I have to say, I don't know how I feel about like the rose gold foil detailing everywhere since the other metal is kind of like a nice black subtle metal. All of them have like this rose gold detailing, which not sure how I feel about that, but anyways. All right, so here is the bomber. And I have to say, it does feel really nice. Kind of wish I got small just because in this medium, I feel like we're getting we're getting some frumpiness that's on me though. I chose the medium, so definitely don't size up in the bomber. I think they did a really good job on the bomber material. I'm not sure how to describe it, but it's not shiny and it's still a nice solid material. It's not an athletic material. It doesn't have any like stretch to it, so it's not gonna be stretchy. They do have the classic little cuffs that bombers tend to have. So here's the bottom of the bomber. They actually have this little kind of snap closure thing to kind of, you know, keep it all secure and zipped up. Do I think it's really doing anything in terms of function? No. I don't really think there's any details on the back or anything. It definitely has like a cool feeling on the inside as in like cool as in cold because of the silky material. I wouldn't call it like the warmest, coziest jacket. This is something that kind of always gets me about bomber jackets is I want them to be like almost a warm winter jacket because it's a jacket and I think jacket, you know, I want it to be warm. But bomber jackets are just never very warm. They're always like a very thin material. I do really like that they brought this piece in the collection because I do think it's one of the more unique 
pieces that are launching. You don't see too many bombers in the activewear industry. I say that as Buff Bunny just launched a bomber too, but they're different styles of bombers. They're different styles. Next, I got the Transition Sports Bra. This sports bra is $40, which mid to high price range for a sports bra, especially for just kind of a basic one. The fabric is really soft. Again, I think they did a really good job at choosing nice quality fabrics. Whenever a new brand comes out, I'm always hesitant slash skeptical and want to see if they're like drop shipping slash white labeling or not. If you're unfamiliar with drop shipping and white labeling, it's when a brand basically gets something wholesale from like Alibaba, AliExpress, and then kind of just puts their logo on it and then sells it as that. So a lot of active wear brands do that. So when Motive first came out, I was like, okay, are they just gonna be a drop shipping brand or is it going to be unique pieces? And like the joggers, definitely haven't seen those. Bomber definitely see seems unique. This sports bra was the only one that I was like, okay, this seems like some sports bras I do have off AliExpress. I don't think it's exact. It definitely feels a little bit different, but it still is very similar and definitely more like a basic design that you could get somewhere else, like if you didn't want to spend the $40. So what I'm trying to say is I don't think this is drop shipped, but it's still not like the most like unique design ever. And I have seen things like this before. And what I mean by this, maybe I should describe what it is first. Okay, anyway, very basic sports bra, just kind of a scoop front, elastic at the bottom, cut pads with the little seam separation so the cut pads stay in their lanes. Then they have four straps that come into the back and then two of the straps actually go over the bra band to kind of create a little detail. And I have seen this exact kind of like strappy detail before. That's what I was talking about with like noticing that it was similar to that. I know this is the tiniest little stain, but that little pink mark is definitely not a fuzz. That's a little stain. Okay, I knew I had an AliExpress bra in my closet handy that had the same kind of strap detail. So this one is from Napoa Gym. It's the Magic Sports Bra. It's a little different. This one is a long line bra. They have ones that I believe are more similar to the Motive one, but I just wanted to show you how the straps were similar. As you can see, they both kind of have that strap detail and this is the Napoa Gym one. So very similar, just wanted to show that. Similar, not exactly the same. Say hi to everyone. Yeah, I know you want your lunch. You'd rather me go feed you lunch, huh? Okay. All right, so here's the sports bra and I'm basically always a size small. It's not fitting me great. I think it's running a little bit small. Like, can I get it on? Yes, but it's coming like really close to my armpits and I can feel like it's going to be uncomfortable over time. It's just definitely compressing me a lot. And it's doing the thing that is one of my pet peeves with sports bras when the elastic that's supposed to be below your boobs kind of creeps up onto your boobs because you don't have quite enough room. So I don't think that this is really a great bra for larger cup size just because I am kind of struggling with that. Potentially could have been fixed with sizing up, but I'm very rarely a medium in sports bras. Okay, so here is the back. Very basic, nothing super crazy. Um, it is squishing me down a decent amount, so I actually am getting solid medium support. I feel like I can see the cut pads a little bit. That might be made worse by the fact that it is so tight on me. But yeah, even if this fit me, I just have a lot of sports bras like this, so there's nothing that really stands out to me about this one. So I'm not crazy about sports bra. Next, I got the women's transition jacket. This is $68 and I got a size small in this. Basically kind of just your classic legging material jacket. I expect it to be pretty comfy. It has a pretty thick hood. Like this hood is like definitely sturdy. It's like double lined. And I kind of briefly watched Aubrey's review about how they like got like the three panel hood so it doesn't come into like a point at the top. I think that's kind of standard at this point with hoodies. But anyways, little drawstrings for the hood and then it does kind of come up into like a little almost mock neck so it should like keep your neck a little warm full zip and are the pockets zippers yes we have more zipper pockets love to see that there is also a pocket on the back like right above where like your butt would be and that one you could store something as well so lots of pockets on this jacket it feels like the same material as the joggers except almost feels like a little slightly less brushed so i feel like it's a little more performancey than the joggers but this could all be in my head. Very similar material. And I will say it's just a very like heavy jacket. So it definitely feels very sturdy. And it looks like they might have hand pockets, which I love hand pockets. So we're gonna have to see if that's a real thing. It has kind of a unique thumb hole design as well. It's actually just like kind of like a double layer slit thing that you can like stick your thumb 
through. So you know what? I've decided that I am not crazy and the jacket material is definitely more of a sleek material and the joggers are more of a soft brushed kind of legging material. So that being said, I am getting some lint and cat fur on the joggers. So I like the hood. I think it's a little bit bulky. Like I literally feel it being heavy behind me, which if you are a hoodie person, that's great. Usually I like my hoodies a little more lightweight because like how often am I really gonna wear the hood, you know? That's not really a con, just kind of, you know, personal preference statement. So zip this up and it does kind of have that slight mock turtleneck vibes to it, which I do like this because sometimes my neck gets cold, but kind of because of the hood, it does come up in the front with this little neck thing, but then the hood kind of like brings it back in the back. So it doesn't actually stay up around your neck because of the hood. Hope that makes sense. We have some nice thumb hole detailing. I think that this style of thumb hole is really cute and it's not like super noticeable. If you're not gonna wear it in that style, it's not like, oh, she's a big hole in the middle of her like wrist. It's just a little slit. So I think that's really nice and not super noticeable. Sleeves are a nice good length on me. They hit all the way to my wrists. Okay, so these are hand pockets where you can kind of fold over this part of the jacket over your hand to kind of keep them warm on your walks and stuff. It's a little tighter than some hand pockets I've had in the past. Might just be because this material is a little bit thicker. We have the full zip down the front and zip pockets as well, which seem to be more spacious than the joggers. These are actually pretty spacious. And then in the back, you have one last pocket here that you can kind of fit stuff back there, which I do like the addition of this extra pocket. They also have these little inside tucked away pockets, which are also a nice option, especially if the, oh, does it have like a little extra pocket? Inside this main jacket pocket, there's like mini coin pocket, dude. So lots of pockets. I think the attention to detail is really here on the jacket. It's nice and thick and warm for an athletic material. So yeah, I definitely think this is a solid jacket. Um, my only thing is the hood is maybe just like a little too much for me personally. It also has a slight like curved hemline around the bottom, kind of curves up around the hips and goes down in the front and back. But in the small, I think it's a nice size that it's not like poofing out too much. It just kind of like gives me a little extra space to put stuff in my pockets and whatnot. Next, I got the tie-back VersaTank. This just kind of feels like your classic lightweight modal spandex type tank. Ah, look at that. It is a 95% modal spandex blend. I am getting good at my fabrics. This one's $32, so maybe kind of affordable price range here. Again, this is also a design that I've seen a lot on AliExpress that has like this kind of slit in the back that you can tie. I wouldn't say I've seen this exact thing on AliExpress. All of my ones on AliExpress are different materials, so I would say that it's not the same, but you know what? Let me just show you. I'll just show you another one. I'll show you. Okay, so this one isn't exactly the same. This is the AliExpress one. It's actually open all the way throughout the back. I do have some that just start halfway at the bottom, but it's just kind of that open back design that you can cut. And then this is the Motive one, which is a very similar tank shape. So yeah, I've said this before in a video that I understand why new brands start out with the basics because obviously like it's more wearable to have all of the basics, but kind of at this point for me, and I think other people relate, I kind of have all of the basics. And for me to really be motivated to try a new brand, it's either gonna have to be like really affordable to which like the price at that quality is really impressive, or it has to be something really unique that I haven't seen before that I'm dying to try. And I have to say, none of these items are really crazy unique to me that if I wasn't reviewing the brand, I probably would have sat out this launch because I'd just be like, I've seen all these things before. Even if it's good quality, this is not speaking to the quality or anything. I'm just saying for me to try a new brand, I have to be really intrigued and I wasn't super intrigued. And this isn't about motive. This is about a lot of brands. I see new brands every single day and most of them I'm like, okay, well, like what's new? Like, why is everyone making the same stuff? Like the activewear industry is getting a little saturated for having all the same stuff all the time. Sorry for putting this rant in this video. This is nothing against this brand at all. This is just some activewear thoughts of the day. So you have a basic tank front, pretty plain, and then open back that you can tie and it feels very lightweight and breathable. So let's try it on. All right, so here is the tank. Definitely a full length tank. Kind of goes pretty high up in the front. Goes pretty close to my armpits too. I'm not sure how I feel about this neckline, but guess it's fine. Definitely kind of snug at the top, looser at the bottom. And it almost has like a little scoop hem here, kind of scoops up at the side. This is it without tying it up. So 
definitely very free and flowy. I do like modal spandex shirts because they are super lightweight, super breathable, really nice to just wear over your sports bra at the gym and not overheat you. So I am a fan of the fabric. You can kind of make it more cropped. I'm not like a huge tie up your shirt person just because like if you're gonna wear this to the gym and then you have to like lie on a bench, it gets kind of uncomfortable. So this isn't really my personal style, but I think it can be cute. So yeah, there's not really much to say about this shirt, but it's soft and yeah. All right guys, so that is it for the review. Let me know down below if you tried these pieces, what you thought, or just based on this video, does it seem like something that's interesting to you? What are your thoughts? I wanna know. Also, I'd love to hear your thoughts on if you're interested in kind of more of these brands coming out with the same kind of like mid to high price point, like basics, or are you kind of like oversaturated with that as well? Leave a comment down below. If you made it this far in the video, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on the notification bell because you never know when I'll post. I appreciate you guys all so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.